Hi, this is Brian Eisenhower with TheRealEstateTrainer.com and we're going to talk a little bit today about overpriced homes and some talking points we can use uh, with our clients, um, home sellers, uh, to explain to them how overpriced their home is. Um, and, and also to, to prevent um, up front in a listing presentation to set some proper expectations so we don't get those homes overpriced in the first place. And if we do miss on the pricing a little bit, we can quickly get those homes prices down, dropped closer to market value so we can get that home sold for the highest price possible in the quickest amount of time. Um, so setting that expectation is the key. And if we're going to get a price reduction, um, we want to make sure that we get an adequate reduction. One of the worst things we can do is make a make a price reduction that doesn't get us close enough uh, to market value so that home sits on the market even longer. And one of the ways to do that, I think it's really important that you always establish that it, um, we know, according to the National Association of Realtors Statistics, the 88% of home buyers start their search online. So it's very important that we have that home online on all the major sites, on the multiple listing service, on Realtor.com, Zillow, Trulia, and et cetera, et cetera, so that we, we can show that we have got the home in all the places that 88% of um, home buyers start looking. And we also want to be able to track the views online so that we can show our clients that we have got it out there and a lot of people have sh uh, seen the home online. Um, it's up to them whether they choose to look at it uh, and then whether they choose to, um, to make offers um, and ultimately purchase the home. But it's important to show that you've got the hook adequately baited, uh, where 88% of the people are looking first. Then it's also important to show the NAR statistic that 88% of home buyers actually use a realtor. Um, so that we've got it in the multiple listing service where all the realtors are looking. And if 88% of the home buyers are using a realtor, you've got it where the vast majority of realtors have seen it. If, if you have a multiple listing service that actually charts online views, then you can take it one step further um, and, and try to show how many agents and how many views the public has made on the site, yet still no one's, no one's showing the property with great frequency. Um, and then if we've established that, then we can actually show, show you a little chart here that we have, uh, we've created um, here at the realestatetrainer.com. And it actually will show you um, how much your home is actually overpriced. Um, and you can see that if you're only receiving drive-bys and online views, then your home on average is priced 13% too high. Um, so that's when you have little or no showings at all. Um, you've got a big price drop you need to explain, and it really helps there to show the number of online views, the number of people looking at the home online, and then you can see, you know, show them that the people have seen it, but for some reason they don't even want to take a look at it. Um, and that's important to show them to get through that denial to explain we need a we need a substantial dro a price drop to make a big impact at that point. Okay. Then if we have a low amount of showings, little low or infrequent showings scattered at all, we know we're still pretty overpriced. And it's very important to show that everybody's taking a look at it. We've got a lot of online views. We know that on average we're nine percent too high then. Um, similarly, if we're getting showings, so you've got people looking at it, you've got a substantial pe number of people looking at it online, um, but you still have no serious offers at all, um, then in all likelihood we're 5% too high, and then it's only when we start receiving offers, serious offers, bona fide offers, then we know that we're finally priced correctly. Um, so it's important to show you, to show your clients, to because to, if you don't, they're going to operate in denial, guys. And if they operate in denial, then they're just going to do an insignificant price reduction that makes no input impact at all. Their home's going to sit on the market for a while, um, and then they're going to have to do a much larger price reduction the longer the house gets stagnant and stale on the market. People are just going to start wondering, why hasn't this home sold yet? So we need to do our part to actually provide them, provide our clients with the material information that they need to make an informed decision that gets them in alignment with the goals that they have for moving. So to do that, it's very important we make a price reduction. We're not getting showings and we're not getting offers that we make a price reduction in direct accordance with the amount that it needs to be reduced. So I uh, hope this was helpful for you today. Thanks again.